Jaybird 1000 here. Got monkey beside me. Oh, it's reading. There's something on your shirt. Yeah, there is. I know. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a vertical waffle toaster by Nostalgia. Colors white, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're going to open this up. We're going to, well, we're going to try to make some waffles. And uh, it was Monkey's idea to order this. So I'm going to let her um, do the unboxing. Open it up. You hold it like this in your right hand. And you push that button. And it bites me, right? No. Is it going to take my finger push off? Push the button. No, it won't do it. Uh uh. This one? Top one. Oh! That's not fun. You do that every time. <laughs> I don't like them. Anyways, okay. We're gonna open this little box up here. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> you better be nice to me. I'm glad I didn't give you the knife I sharpened earlier today. I know, I saw that. Back that was... to, I sharpened two, I sharpened another one off here. Man, that sucker was sharp. Yeah, when I got when I get done making the video, filming the video, I was like, oh, I'm going to do another one. <laughs> well, the thing is, that's old. How many times has someone used it, you know? If they used well, it a lot. Well, that's not super old. They still make them. Do they? Didn't you watch the video? Yeah, they make them. You said they make them a little different. Okay, guys. So, I ordered. You ready? I ordered a waffle toaster. We got a waffle toaster. So I want to try this out and see how well it works. So here we go. You want to open it and do the rest? No, oh, good. Oh, it's got a little sticky thing on here. Maybe you might want to show off the box a bit first. I, you can see that. Yeah, it gives you. Pretty cool. I might eat some more waffles now that I got this, hopefully. I can't get it. Thank you. You're my knife cutter. I'm your knife cutter. <laughs> As you see, it gives you a book. All well, the you directions. That's a clear cruise, so I got you. Yes. I'm watching you on my phone. We're both doing this together. Yeah, she's we got two cameras. She's filming for her channel and I'm going filming for mine. Right. So okay. Ooh, I got all kinds of goodies. Alright, get rid of this box over here. And then I'll take the plastic off. Okay, so before, how to operate, before using your waffle toaster for the first time, be sure to follow the directions under cleaning and maintenance to clean your unit. There may be a slight smell of some smoke the first time using this appliance. This is both normal and temporary. Cute! So... We, we, we saw this, uh, somebody trying to use this on, on a channel she watches, so. So, I liked it. I thought this was really cool, and I thought, oh, let's, let's try this. So, yeah. So, yeah, you clip this together. It didn't work real well for him. No. And she said, well, I think he's doing it wrong. I need to get that. And we'll do it the right way. So I said, okay. So we ordered it. It was like 17 bucks. Yeah. So. Got it off of Amazon. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They clip. You clip them together. 
And what you do, you put your stuff in here. Yeah, she's got stuff over there. Yep, I got yeah, the yeah. pancakes going here. I mean, the waffle stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read up on this. I'm going to cut you guys off. I don't know if she's going to keep filming on hers, but I'm going to read up on this. Yeah. So I, I, I got a habit of blowing up a lot. Well, well, not a lot. Enough. Quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to check this out, and I don't want to explode anything. So I'm going to read up on this, and then I'll be back with you. And I will wait while he reads. Okay, so... I'm reading this. It says to place the unit on a table, on a stable surface near an electrical outlet away from any water source. Plug the appliance into an electrical outlet. I just did. It's down, down here. Yep. Prepare your waffle mix in a large bowl. We're going to do that here in a minute. But first, it says preheat the toaster up the toaster by pressing down on the control lever, then pressing the preheat button on the control panel so we will be pushing this down and then pressing the preheat button right there right it's got a defrost so you must be able to make other things in this mm -hmm. <clears throat> when done preheating the control lever will pop up place the silicon mold the silicon molds that was weird <laughs> what was it in the toasting slots and pour the waffle mix into the opening. Depending on your preferred level of doneness, adjust the toasting dial to within the golden waffle zone, levels five to seven. It's got levels on here. Right. So like we'll we'll be starting out. We'll we'll start out at like six right in the middle. Then press down on the control lever to start the toasting cycle. Okay, so see, this is what you'll turn here. Right here. Right. So, can you see that on yours? Mm-hmm. That right there turns, right. I got it set on six. Now, press down on the control lever to start the toasting cycle. After the, after the control lever pops up, allow the waffles to sit in the mold for about 30 seconds before removing from the toaster. Note, if your waffles need additional time, adjust the toasting dial to between 1 and 4. Press down the control and press now. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, you started 5 to 7. If it needs more time, then you just turn it back from one to four and push it down again. Right, when so done, you burn it. when done using your waffle toaster, unplug the unit from the electrical outlet and allow it to cool completely. And that's pretty much it. There are, are some tips here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and heat this up right now, right? So that way we don't get any smoke and stuff in here. Then we're going to make the batter. Where you got two different kinds? I have two different kinds. One's for me and my mother, and the other one's yours. Okay. There's preheat. It doesn't, I mean, there's no lights to tell you if preheat's working or not, so I'm guessing that it is. Okay, so while that's preheating, and okay. while she's getting her bowls and stuff ready, get them ready. I'm going to go ahead and cut you off. I don't know which, if she's just going to spin you around or what, but I'm going to cut you guys off until... Yeah. She I'm starts gonna, making. I'm going to make mine now. And what I got here, I got, it's called. Wow, that preheated already. Breach Benders. It's a micro pancake and waffle mix. It's by Keto. This is, um, so my mother and I could have waffles. I'm hoping this will work out and I wanted to try it. So I figured this is a good time to try it. Yeah, smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. Mm. See, like, right down in here. Yeah, you can smell it. Okay, but right down in here, mm -hmm. that thing's in, and this thing is not. Hmm. Right there, see? Yeah. Right there, right there. Hmm. So, anyways, I'm going to mix this up, and I also bought us light syrup, so um, then we'll continue with that. He's got his own. I got him regular, so he's not 
diabetic yet, but he, um, I'm sure he'll like this better. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do, and I'll get it together, and we'll be back. And then that, after she gets hers done, or after she gets that, right before we put these in, I'll preheat this again. I just want to make sure there wasn't no dust and stuff coming out, so hang tight. Okay guys, so I mixed up my mix before. I mean, you know, you just follow directions. Now with this stuff, it, it was very simple. You just, for four pancakes, you use three-fourths of a cup of the mix and half a cup of water. If you want to use the whole bag, then it's one and three-fourths cups to two cups of water. And you just make it the way you want. I did thin it out a little bit, um, so I can pour it in those and it's not gonna be real thick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this again, but you don't, it says not to preheat them, not to preheat it with these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this again. Okay. Then we'll put these inside there and she'll fill them up. I got her, I probably should have brought the whole roll over, but we'll see. <laughs> <coughs> this is also, the center button is also a cancel button. If for some reason you need to shut it off real quick, you just push that center button. And the defrost um, is used to defrost like bread, like if you want some, um, like that thick Texas toast stuff, you want to thaw it out, you can do that. Or if you want to cook it, you can put it in there. So, all right, we're going to put these in. And they snap together, just put them together. Yeah, they snap together. So. Let me get this. And let's see, do we put it down first? Okay, when done for heating, the coil over place silicone molds in. Okay, now yeah, you pour your waffle mix in to the openings. Right in here. It doesn't say how far up to fill it, so we're going to guess just right to the bottom of this funnel thing because this stuff will expand. Right. I'm watching it. Okay, I got it where I think it should be. This is one of those things that's definitely trial and error. Yeah. I think I would have just poured it into that cup and then poured it in there. Ready? Like I said, it said between five and seven. Okay. We got it set on six. Here we go. Let's push this down. There it goes. And then after it pops up again, wait 30 seconds and then you pull this, pull, that's what these are for so you don't burn yourself. All right. So, what do you want to do now? Well, I'm going to get a plate. No, I mean, while that's heating up. You want to talk or? If you want to. There. Well, we never talk. Uh, <laughs> we always talk. Anyways, I hope this works. And I hope I like this keto um, pancake syrup because it's really good for sugar. And that's what I'm looking for, sugar problems. So You're looking for sugar problem? No, not sugar problems. <laughs> Total sugars in this is three grams, so I'm that's not bad. I'm eating regular stuff. Yeah, he's so. gonna eat the regular stuff. But I want to get this for my mom and I and try it and see if we like it. If not, we'll go back to the other stuff. I mean, I don't make these that often, but I might if it works out pretty good. And if it don't, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna say it's junk. And then she'll go to sell it and she'll be like, oh, that's a great little item. <laughs> no. Say so it just didn't work for us. It might work for That you. does stink, man. Yeah, it does. Oh, hopefully these don't taste like that. 
You know, uh, how do you get that aftertaste on with something new? They shouldn't. Right. Well, it's not a pain because, I mean, it's not, none of the food's touching any of that. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't, you know, like a skillet. Right. Your food actually touches the skillet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So. I'm going to speed mine up. Well, maybe anyways, I'm going to uh, come back as soon as it kind of pops up. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm just going to keep rolling. <laughs> well, you go right ahead. I am. Don't tempt me. I'm, I'm rolling right now. Baby. You're the roller. I'm rolling. You're the rolly rolling. Ben watched my uh, BXX32. He watched my uh, K pop videos. Oh. He really enjoyed it. Yeah. Brought good. back memories of road trips he used to take and stuff. Thought that was very nice. So, uh, Ben, hope you're doing well. Yeah, we do. <coughs> Merry Christmas. Excuse me. Alright. I gotta get a plate. She's gotta get a plate. And a fork. And a fork. So hopefully, whoa, one dropped way down and disappeared and one's coming up. Uh-oh. Is it leaking underneath? Yep, it's coming out the bottom. Oh, you're kidding. No, and that happened to him too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This one's coming way up, look at it. Oh, jeez. You would think they, they would make them clip a little better. Than... Right. Well, the guy that we watched, he had it all the way to the top, and then it flewed over, and he had a mess. It flewed over. Yeah. And, it's and it also is coming out of the bottom. Yeah, so this, this one is too. He ended this up one. changing it and doing it again, but he still said it was coming out of the bottom. Isn't mm. there supposed to be a tray... Uh, a pull-out tray? A spill tray? Yeah, there's one right here. Yeah, but it's, it can only it shouldn't be so coming much. Out. Oh, yeah, look. Oh. I'm just trying to see where the drip is. You're taking me out of view here. Sorry. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't fill them all the way up. This one's bubbling. Because it doesn't tell you. It doesn't say, you know, where to Well, you didn't fill this one all the way up either, but it went down underneath. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Well, we'll see. Uh oh, I see smoke. Oh, it said you will. Well, it's probably burning. <laughs> Could be. Oh no. This one's bubbling like a pancake, like it should. It might be a McDonald night. This was our dinner. <laughs> yeah, this we, was our dinner. We figured it would be a waffle night. <laughs> yeah, because you can have waffles anytime. Yeah. So we figure we do this video and we'll make it, and if it don't work out, well, guess who's going to <laughs> fast food? <laughs> yeah, it's already seven o'clock, so oh. it's too late for me to cook anything. No, no. Well, I'll run down and get something if this don't work out. That's why I thought this one. She was excited about wanting to try it, and I was too. So yeah, um, I was hoping we'd get it right. And <laughs> These green specks you see here, I've got, I've got one of those um, Christmas light things over there on the counter that shines through the <laughs> whole living room. See, this one didn't drop down. This one's coming up. Mm-hmm. <coughs> hmm. Oh, that's it. That's it. So, we're supposed to leave it in here for... I'm not touching nothing because it didn't say to go and lift it up. It didn't come all the way up, but it did pop off. <coughs> so, this is wait about 30 seconds. So... Okay. We'll wait 30 seconds. Cue the Jeopardy song theme. Do, 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 do. Song theme. Tick tock, tick tock. Song. No, it goes nothing like either one of them. <laughs> it's, it's amazing living with her, guys. Excuse me? Didn't start. It's been 30 minutes. You guys, are you guys counting? What are you doing? You're setting your timer. It's almost been 30 seconds. I think I just said 30 minutes a second ago, but it's already been 30 seconds. Oh, I got my timer set. Well, that's good because. There. 
This is only for ten. You got to set for ten minutes. <laughs> One time she burnt the hell out of something in the microwave. I'm like, what'd you have it that. set on? She said five minutes. I said, are you sure? Yeah, look at it. It's burnt, smoking. It didn't even go off yet. It was still running. I looked at the time. She had it set for five hours. <laughs> I, I'm like, man, what the hell's burning out there? That was in our, our first microwave we had together. Well, when you have when we got together. The little one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it's been about 30 seconds. You want to do the honors, Monk? This is your deal. All right, I'm going to... Ooh, they're hot. So I'm holding it like that. Oh, that kind of looks done. It has bubbles in it. I'll leave this one here for now. Let me move this over here. And how you do? Can you see me? So the outside of it is not hot at all. And but if you guys can see this. Oh my god. Exact, are you recording? Yes. Okay. I think I'm recording. Okay, so I'm gonna open it Wait, up. I gotta move this so my camera can see. Oh my, go. what a mess. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, hot, hot. Be careful. Oh no. See? Okay, she we, we was talking about spraying these, but we didn't on this batch because I told her I says there's haters out there, they'll say you know, if something happened, they'll say, well, you wasn't supposed to spray it. It doesn't say you have to, so we did it the way the book pretty much, well, didn't tell us. So, use your fork. I mean... Pop that. No. No? Okay, no. Well, let's try this one. No. Move that one over there on the no. stove top there. That's crap. On the stove top. That's okay. Well, you'll get that hot and put your arm there and burn your arm. There you go. Alright, now. Uh, maybe I'll have more luck. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, what we're going to do is let this cool. And I'm going to shut you guys off. And we'll come back with the next back, back, batch with more. I can't talk. And this time we'll spray them. I, you're not, it doesn't say you have to. But I think you need to. But, like I said, um, if if this would happen and we sprayed it, they would have said it's because you sprayed it and it didn't say to. So, I always try to do things the way they want you to, and it doesn't say anything about spraying it. It just says, uh, prefer your, prepare your waffle mix, preheat the thing, and I did that. When done preheating, the control lever will pop up, place the silicon molds in the toasting slots, and pour the waffle mix into the opening. So it does not say anything about spraying it <coughs> at all. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to cut you guys off. We're going to clean these up. Yeah. And then we're going to try for round two. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> Isn't that a mess? Look at that. Oh. All came from that drip tray. Okay guys, so I'm going to make these ones. She's going to let me mess these ones up. I'm going to use some spray. Just some of this cooking spray here. Yep. And just give it a light coat. I'm drying these off. I washed them. She washed them off real good. They do come clean. Yeah. Real easy. It's just the drying process now. You know, most people probably just leave it in the, their thing and, and just, um, you know, dry, dry them. Let them dry on their own. But he wants to use it again. Well, I want to try it again. Yeah, and we're, this time it's going to be with the um, spray, so. No, I am, you know, because I thought, well, maybe they don't suggest spray because it would make the bottom not clip together right, but apparently that's not the case because we didn't spray it the first time. Right. Set down here. So, anyways, this is dry, okay. so we're ready to go on this one. You're going to use a lot of paper towels doing this. <laughs> and a mess. Yeah, it really is a mess. I'm trying not to get it around the edges where it clips in. You know what I mean? So. Right. So that way it doesn't. And now I've got this all the way as closed as it'll go. Yeah, I think we did on the other ones too. There was 
you know. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna preheat. And preheat this. I've got mine already poured into a thing. So that way I don't have to mess around too much. And mine, they did cook. They were just... Yeah, they cooked yeah. what was in there. Because I, I even tasted it. And that stuff, to, it's not bad. I, I like it. I like to make me some pancakes with it and and just use it that way. What, this? No, my, my stuff that well, I Well, yeah, but we're not so, reviewing the stuff you so. got. We're reviewing this thing. Well, okay, so... <laughs> so... All right, now... i got to get up here where I can see. Which is not easy. Mine's a little bit thicker, so it's going to take a minute to get down inside there. It's going. Mm-hmm. You just went to the edge of that top waffle thing? Yeah. See, mine might be too thick, but hopefully it doesn't come out the bottom of the one. And they don't stay upright very well. No. Mm -mm. So far, this is getting a 5 out of 5 for me on being crappy. Mm. I don't see anything good about it yet. Well, you only watch one thing about it, so. <laughs> I'd rather see it come out the top than out the damn bottom. It does have a drip tray I showed in my, you can have my clip if you want. I already had it on. <laughs> okay. I'm just going right up. Right up to here, just the top of the waffle thing. Okay, so I'm guessing, okay, I'm not seeing any leakage yet out of that one, and nothing yet out of this, nothing yet out of this one. Okay, so now, let's go ahead and... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll kick you back on, this thing pops off. Okay guys, real quick. Mm -hmm. This one here must have been over there because it drained out the bottom. Yeah. And oh, there wow. It is. Yep. Look at it. Draining out the damn bottom. Wow. This one I may have overfilled a little bit too much, but it's staying in there. Okay, guys, it just popped up. We're letting it set for a few seconds. What's well, already been about 10, 15 seconds. See the steam coming out that? Ooh. Well, yeah, it's. It's hot. Yeah. Um. Like I said, this one, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can take it out because, yeah, it definitely drained out the bottom again. Um, this one, I think I might have overfilled it. But, hear them sirens? I had, I had them on standby. <laughs> <laughs> Here it's coming. They are coming. Something steaming. That sucker. Look at that. Look at the steam coming out of that. That's another thing, it don't pop clear up. No, it doesn't. Oh, wow. This one ain't done. I can tell you that right now, this one ain't done. Mm -mm. I'm gonna open Oh, no. Oh, yours is better than mine. It, well, that one worked. Oh, yeah, not bad. Very good. And I didn't get it on camera. I might have got it on yours if I didn't put it on. Oh, wow. You did get it on there. Okay, so they're... <laughs> wow! Better than mine. Uh, well, look, they came out better than mine. And I think you need to use the spray first of all. I think that's part of the reason why they fell apart like they did. Okay, well, <coughs> where's that fork you had? The what? The fork, I just seen that's it. It's way over there. Oh. Yeah, you're going to need one. <laughs> this, I figure, is done down in here. This just got real thick. This, I don't know. 
Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get plate. Okay. Um, oh, they look a lot better. They look really good. Yeah, well, I mean, there's really no sense in taste testing it. <coughs> That's a waffle. <laughs> you can have yours. I know I felt crumbled, but I did try it, and I like the taste of that. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's just too bad the waffle part didn't work out. Here's that one. This is kind of of a half waffle. Almost a half waffle. Aww. <laughs> um, Alright, well, we're going to clean this up and we'll come back to you and we'll show you what we came up with. Okay, guys, so this is what we came up with. We ordered takeout. As you can see, Order Chinese food. <laughs> uh, so, Monkey's going to turn hers on and explain some stuff. So, let me move this out of her way because her camera's over there. I got mine way up in there, about six feet. So, yeah. well, this is what we ended up with, guys. <laughs> Two. I mean, they're okay. Yeah, they came out better than mine did. But the second one, the second time I tried, it still leaked out the bottom. It went all into the drain pan. Um, no, are you got anything to say? I'm done. I say it's a big fail. <coughs> I wouldn't even rate it because it's that bad. And I'm going to take send it back. And they're going to get my two words in when I do send it back. Because it's terrible <laughs> that they are selling this kind of a product. The idea there is great. I think these things are need, need adjusting. They need to fix those where it's not leaking all over your counter and going through the bottom. I mean, it doesn't even stay in the drip tray. It goes everywhere. Yeah, if it didn't leak, it would be okay. And mm -hmm. I think they need a line there to take just pretty much where, how far up to fill it. Right. Or at least tell you in, in the things. And it doesn't tell you in the instructions. No. Mm-mm. I mean that's it. All right, so I give it a one because the toaster part did work, and you can, you know, put bagels and you can and and thick like Texas toast in there. But how ours does that? Yeah, so I don't need <laughs> it. But I thought it was cool. It was it was something to try. So we did, and we ended up with Chinese food. So yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna put in a return for this and yeah. Oh man. What a yeah, mess. Gotta well, get my money back because I wouldn't even want to sell this to anybody because you know no. we know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's junk. I I wouldn't no. I wouldn't no. feel comfortable mm -mm. even selling it for five bucks. Mm -mm. No. You know I mean it's junk. Yeah. Like I said, if you want a toaster, our toaster you can put bagels in. Yeah. It's you know a wide mouth toaster, ten bucks at Walmart. Right. You know so. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say I'm done, guys. She better admit the man legend gone for now. The monkey says she's out for now, y'all. I have a great... Well, there's only one more day, so... And then it's the weekend. Yeah. This is the last weekend before Christmas. Yes. Yeah, I know. It's creeping so, up. Yep. Very quickly. Yeah, so, it is. Y'all have a great day tomorrow, <laughs> and stay tuned for more. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm going to eat some chicken.